Okay, here's me here with another Sauron Light V video, all right? So this video is another of, that's gonna go in the playlist of So I Broke My Sauron Light V Again. So, Ace of Mega has broken so many parts on this bike, it's ridiculous, but I have a whole lot of fun with it, so I can't complain too much, <laughs> I just wanna say. All right, so what's wrong with the bike? This is what's wrong with the bike. Yeah, there's a... There's no primary drive belt on it anymore because I busted it, okay? Um, I did a vlog about it. Uh, check it out if you want to know what happened to, to how, how that happened. And I'll tell you this, uh, I wasn't doing anything particularly stressing on the bike for it to have broken, okay? That's <laughs> what to say, okay? Anyway, this video, in this video we're going to see how fast Hayes Omega can install a new belt, okay? There's a... I did a video very similar to this, but it was swapping the the 219 chain kit to the back to the to the belt, okay? And I think I did it in a, I think I did it in like 40 minutes. I think I can do this one quicker because we don't have to take as less as, as much stuff apart, okay? And the belt's not our, on there already, so all we got to do is put the belt on. So here is my new belt. All right, um, it came straight from the UK. Let me see, Bromsgrove, Bromsgrove. United Kingdom, all right? So this came from across the pond, all right? Let's go check it out. Check it out of the packet, all right? There it is. Ooh, it looks a little different. So uh, this is the first part of this video. We're gonna do a, uh, so it just came kind of like in a like, little garbage bag type thing. <laughs> it's okay, it's a belt. It's, I don't think there's much to go wrong with it, is what I'm gonna say. Um, so where did I get this belt from? I got it from eBay, okay? There's an eBay seller that goes by the name of Chippo75, okay? C-H-P-O underscore uh, 75, all right? That's the seller. Uh, and I got it for 24.99, 24.99 GBP or pounds, okay? Um, British, the British money, okay? <laughs> um, I don't, I, I'll put a subtitle below what the um, the equivalent in dollar amount is, but I think it's around I think it's around 50 bucks, about as much as uh, the Luna Cycle belt. Okay, I think the Luna Cycle belt was like 40, 45 dollars. All right, and so that is the cheapest belt I can find. Uh, that's a good belt. Okay, it also it's also it got to me pretty quickly. Um, normally, you know, because of the pandemic, the the postal system is just gone to shit right now okay um i can't get anything from japan okay japan will not ship anything to the united states anymore and and i'd imagine it's going to be that way for other countries okay so uh, domestic shipping is okay but international shipping get good luck man it'll take months it'll take months or you have to pay a lot of money to ship it through like dhl or fedex okay those are the only those are the only couriers that are like shipping stuff okay that's what i'm gonna say um, and I played that I played that game where I did the surface mail and they just put it on a ship and you don't you don't know how long it takes to get here it gets here when it gets here usually two or three months in the future <laughs> so would say okay so anyway um, I got this pretty fast I think yeah this is sent through Royal Mail okay so so that this is sent through the British post office and then and then when it gets here it gets to the post office and then they ship uh, USPS okay um, so that, that's just one thing I wanted to talk about, the shipping. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think it took a couple of weeks, all right? I think it took about three weeks. Because of the COVID-19 and everything, it's still it's still pretty bad, man. I, I you know, it's it's been more than a year since the pandemic started, and it's it's not any better than it was before, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I would say, okay? I'm not going to get too much into the pandemic, all right? But anyway, uh, right here I got a Gates Power Grip GT4 belt, okay? 568. MGT. We'll take a closer look at it in a bit. 
All right. Um, I had a Gates Power Grip GT3 belt. Okay, this is a GT4. So hopefully this is an improved version of the GT3. I will, I will say this. I think the GT3 belt took the most punishment. All right, that was the most reliable belt that I ever had. All right, on the Soron. Okay. Um, the least reliable was the D&D power power belt. Okay, um, that is the last. That is the belt that broke recently. Okay, and it really only lasted me as long as the Lunacycle chain kit, which was not very long. <laughs> that's what I say. Okay, it lasted me. It lasted me a race and two. Uh, uh, yeah, it lasted me like two races: a drag race and a hair scramble race. So, um, I think the GT3 belt was, was the one that took the most punishment. Okay, so that's why I decided to go with the Gates again. Okay, actually. To tell you the truth, I had ordered this as a spare belt because I put the D&D power belt and, and I didn't, and Hades Omega just knew somehow, somehow, she knew in the back of his mind that like, I don't know, I don't know how good this belt is, I don't think it's going to last very long, I better get myself another replacement belt and so I, after I had installed this one, I had already ordered one for as a backup belt and here it is, so it looks like I got to order another one for a backup belt for this one, okay? Um, always, always have a spare belt handy, okay? Um, is what I'm gonna say. And they're really, on an, honestly, they're not that, they're not that hard to change out, and we'll find that out uh, towards the end of this video, okay? <laughs> um, I will make an accelerated video of me changing the belt on this bike, and we'll see how long it takes, okay? Um, and I will go over the rules uh, when we when we do it, okay? Um, so anyway, let's go take a look at this belt. And we'll take a look at my belt collection, and then we'll start the festivities. Uh, we'll go install it. So I hopefully, hopefully, I will have as much good luck with this belt as I did the last one. Okay, the last one, I destroyed it at the sand dunes. Okay, I was riding sand dunes with it, and and I, I guess it just got too hot, and then poof, it just let go. Okay, um, but uh, but the last one did not last me long at all. Okay, I have never heard of D and D power belt. Okay, um, and we'll take a look at the belts right now. Okay, all right, here's my all right he's mega here so here i've got my collection of belts okay these are the three belts that have broken off of my bike and then this is the brand new one all right so let's take a look at the brand new one real quick since this that's what this video is about all right there it is like i said i got this from a uk seller okay gates power grip gt4 all right 560 8m gt belt okay it's an anti-static belt there's some parts number here, 904920009. Okay, I apologize, there's some kind of music in the background. They're playing some kind of Vietnamese karaoke back there. Made in the UK. So I as far as I know, you can only get these gate spelts for the Suron in UK, okay? And I supposedly this is supposed to be thicker than the stock belt. That's why it's a little bit stronger, okay? Honestly, I think Sauron should have just gone with a stronger belt in the first place, man. I, I don't think this... I mean, I guess for a stock bike, it, it's okay. <laughs> don't go lie, okay? Alright, so yeah. Um, let's compare that to the uh, the GT3 belt. Okay, this is the Gates GT3. Okay, Power Grip GT3 568M GT. Okay, so it looks pretty much like the same belt, right? This is how it failed, okay? Boom let go okay there's the there's the teeth as far as I can tell it looks like pretty it's pretty much the same belt all right um, yeah you can kind of see the the belts on the side the the wire but I had really good luck with this belt okay this belt took a lot of torture and punishment okay um, I I, have re I can recommend this one, okay? Um, Hades Omega knows that Gates belts are, are good quality, okay? Um, Gates makes very good belts for automotive applications, okay? I, I use Gates belts when I when I work on my cars, okay? For like power steering belts, alternator belts, timing belts, all right? You can trust the Gates brand, okay? Um, I do know they're, they are worldwide, okay? So there's the Gates in America too, so. But I, for whatever reason, we can only get the UK Gates belts. I don't know who, I don't know who's, who in the United States sells um, these belts, okay? But all I know is that UK has these, all right? Okay, so that's the GT3 belt. This is the belt that broke recently. All right, this is the, this is the H, 
this I mean this is a D and D synchro power belt, okay? This one just it just poof, just let go. I think I over tightened it. That may have been why it broke, but I think it might have been a, it might be a defective belt, but it lasted one race. I guess it's I guess it's okay, you know. Um let's compare it to the GT3 belt. Let's put them top of each other. Yeah, it's really only it's the GT3 belt is really only like just slightly bigger than the than the stock belt okay I think it's supposed to be like I forgot how I think it's 15 millimeters or something is how thick it is yeah it's a little bit bigger actually I can tell yeah it's like a millimeter bigger so you can see how much extra sticks out here so that's the one of the reasons this is a better belt it's a little bit wider okay so I can take a little more punishment so um, so this belt was advertised as being the the best belt you can buy for the Suron Light B. Okay, so uh, I hope so. This is uh, the it's for heavy heavy extreme duty use. Okay, so that's why I bought it. Hopefully, hopefully it'll last me. Okay, and then my uh, so I think these two from what I had heard, D and D Power Synchro Belt and the Con Conti Tech or Continental Belt. Okay, that's what these are. All right, um, these are uh, these are the OEM belts, okay? These are the belts that Soran installs on the bike when you get it stock, okay? You could, you'll chances are you'll either get a Conti Tech belt or you'll get a D&D Synchro Power belt. Let's hope you get the Conti Tech one because Conti Tech is a better brand, okay? I've never heard of this D&D Synchro Power belt before. I think it's an American brand. I'm not sure, but it it did not last very long at all okay this one did last a while but this that's kind of before i started modifying the suron okay this the teeth just kind of just sheared off of this i think what happened was i hadn't been tightening the belt enough and then, then it would just i think it was slipping on the teeth and then it just took the teeth off okay the belt didn't fail itself but the teeth did okay all right and these are like i don't know they're are they carbon no there's some kind of metal in them this one has a metal. Oh no, 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 they are carbon. Yeah, they're not they're not sharp at all. So these are carbon belts, I think. It's like a it's like a timing belt on a car, okay? But yeah, that's a D&D synchro. That's the that's the Conti Tech belt. And then this is the the uh, Gates GT3 power grip, and then this is the Gates GT4 power grip, okay? Let's see. Let me let me see if I Let's put these together. Okay, this is the GT3 and GT4. It looks, hmm, the teeth don't match. Yes, they match up a little bit and then they just kind of stop. What's the deal with that? Yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is, man. That can't be good. I hope this is the right belt. Well, it's the same spec belt, so it's a, at 568 MDT, okay, that's the specification for the belt, the model, like on a model number, sorta. Um, 580, oh, this is a 560, 5, 568 MDT, yeah, these are the same belt, so I, I don't know. But let's put them together real quick and see how thick they are. I think I might have gotten this one from the same seller, I'm not, I don't quite remember. Okay, but yeah, they are the same thickness. I think they machined these belts down. A little bit and now uh, there's they're the same thing it's just pretty much the same belt okay well but I'm banking that I'm hoping that this is an improved version of this belt okay and I had very good luck with this GT3 belt so that's why I want wanted to get another Gates belt because I didn't know the quality of this belt and sure enough I had that premonition that this one would break and it sure sure enough it did okay so so that's garbage that goes in my collection all right Okay, and this is the Connie Tech belt. I, I recommend if you're gonna buy a belt, you know, for your Soron, at least try to get the Continental one if you can. So I'm, I, I don't know how you can tell, you know, which belt you're gonna get. Because on the Lunacycle website, they they show the Continental belt, but then I got this belt you know, when they sent it to me. So I don't know. Um, yeah, it would have been nice if they just could get you they could just sell you a belt that just you know you can buy a, a, at an auto parts store you know that would have been a lot better honestly so yeah or just go with the chain <laughs> all right okay so that's the end of the kind of belt comparison video all right that's my collection right there um continental i think is okay you know D, &D 
power synchro belt, avoid it, all right? Avoid it. This one did not last me very long. You do not want to get stuck on the, on the side of the trail with a busted belt like this. I was just riding home, you know? I was just leisurely riding home, and this happened, okay? I wasn't doing anything crazy at the time, all right? And then this one, Great Gates Power Grip GT3. This survived many races, okay? Many supermoto races, many drag races, many shenanigans that Hayes Omega was pulling off on his light beam. You know, he, Hayes Omega rides his bike hard, okay? So, and and then what finally killed it, all right? This this actually did a fair bit of, fair amount of desert riding too. Um, what finally killed it was sand dunes, okay? So yeah, don't ride this one in the sand dunes or else you'll get too hot and break, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's why I decided to go back Go back to the good old Gates power grip, all right? And so we were gonna, so in the next clip, we are gonna have a speed challenge video. How fast can Hades Omega install this new belt, all right? All right, check it out. Stay tuned. Uh, I, I guess it'll be in the next part of the video. Uh, this will be like a two-parter video. All right, Hades Omega.